here. Good boy. Bye down. Good boy. Hi there. I'm Adam Elliott from Whistling Grazing. This here is Ralphie. He's about a four and a half month old border collie that we got from Mr. Kelly Lacey down in North Carolina. So we've had him since Christmas Eve. And we're working on some obedience training with him to get a foundation laid to make him as good a sheepdog as we can. So if you have if you're new to Westland grazing and you're not sure what we're about, you know, what we use these dogs for is to manage livestock, mostly sheep and, and cattle. Um, and so these dogs are a tool that we use um, to, to help us manage those animals in as low stress manner as we can. And you know, you know they're quite more than that too, they, they become part of the family. And so what we've learned over the years of, of dealing with these dogs, and, and it's been a number of years, I'm actually third generation guy uh, using herding dogs to, to manage livestock and you know I've been doing this all my adult life and so it's it's been quite a journey and we've used lots of different theories and ideas and 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 how we train dogs is just a it's just a constantly evolving process so um, you know what you hear from me today might not be what you hear from me in a month or in a year or in five years or in ten years um, that's certainly how it's gone in the past because we want to be constantly learning and, and studying and, and and pushing our boundaries and our comfort zones to to make our dog training better and so I'm really here today to talk to you about where our dog trains at and what we're doing um, over the last year or so we've really had an increase of of interest in what we're doing uh, people talking to us and asking us where we're at with our dog training and um, and wanting us to to help with their dog training and so we're just going to give you a little update and where we're where we're going here so I think what we're going to do uh, is we're going to start putting out one of these videos about once a week and and you'll just get to see a little picture of where we're at in our training and hopefully that will help you with where you're at in your training. Um, and and when you do when you watch these videos, you, if you've if you've studied dog training at all, um, you're probably going to see some stuff that you recognize, honestly, because my dog training over the last you know 10, 10 12 years has been largely a product of a lot of other people's work. You know, my daddy used to tell me when I was a kid, you know, he would say, get all the advice that you possibly can and take that advice in as, as respectful a manner as you possibly can. And then, and then your job is to sort that advice out and do as you please, do what you think is best. You know, take the parts away that you see truth in and figure out how to make that work for you. And so that's, that's what my dog training has looked like. So there's, there's little pieces in what I do from a lot of different people. Um, you're going to see stuff from, from Elvin Kopp, a border collie guy out of Alberta, Canada. You're going to see stuff from John Holmes, a Welshman uh, who's, who's deceased now. Um, from H. Glenn Jones, from Patrick Shanahan, um, from Gary Erickson, you know, a, a cowboy out of Oklahoma. You're going to see stuff from contemporary dog trainers, YouTube guys, Zach George, Stoney Dennis. Um, there's, boy, the, the list could go on and on and on and on, and I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna remember them all, but, you know, to those of you that are watching this, you know, these are some places where I've got information and, and it's all kind of become a melting pot to be what my dog training is today. Um, <clears throat> and so, just to give you a little ex explanation of what I'm doing here with Ralphie, we're just doing a little bit of marker training. You know, that's what the 
that's what the come and the lie down was. And then, <clears throat> you know, what I've been doing since then is just, I'm just paying him for sitting still and having good manners. You know, um, um, basically, my dog training has centered around a theme of, of trying to turn these pups and these dogs into civilized members of the family. And that's really where my success starts um, because, you know, there's, there's a lot of guys out there that are way better at training herding dogs than me. You know, they could, I could go to a trial and they would just beat the pants off of me. Um, but, but my dogs, where they really are, are extraordinary is their behavior. You know, I like to be able to take my dogs everywhere. In my previous career as a as a horseshoer, you know that's what I did. I took my dog with me every day to work, and it went to all kinds of different farms and had all kinds of different animals right in front of it that it, you know, really would have liked to have chased and harassed, but but I wasn't allowed to. It had to sit still and, and have good manners all the time, and and so that's kind of helped. Sh that environment helped shape my training to to make me learn. To teach dogs how to come when they're called, how to be still when they're told, and how to have good manners all the time, um, and that makes them into civilized members of society. And that's that's really what I'm after. Um, so going forward here, as far as what we're doing and what we're offering, um, you know, hopefully you'll you'll be able to benefit from from what we do in our training videos, and and you'll be able to learn from some of the other information sources that I that I reference and send you to and you'll be able to learn to train your dogs on your own and be successful because ultimately you know that's what I did and and I think that's the best way to train dogs is for you to educate yourself and and learn to train yourself um, I think the the board and train idea though though we're offering that and we're doing that and sometimes that's what needs to happen um, it's an inherently flawed way to train dogs. <laughs> the cat's sneaking by there trying to distract my pup. <clears throat> so, so ideally I'd like you to learn to train and, and do it yourself, but if you can't and you need to bring them, bring them to me, you know, um, some, basically what we're offering is a, is a board and train package where I'm going to use marker training, I'm going to use positive reinforcement, I'm going to use a series of small challenges and environmental uh, challenges, lots of socialization, lots of exercise. That's what's going to happen for the first couple of weeks. And we're going to, we're going to get a foundation of me getting to a positive relationship with your dog and, and your dog being able to come when called and, and sit still when it's told and have good manners all the time before we go to livestock. And then if you if you have a livestock herding dog and you want me to teach it that, then, then after two weeks we'll go we'll go see livestock and go from there and see what your dog can do with herding. Um, but if you just have a pet dog and and really all you want to do is is have it come when it's called and sit sit still when it's told and have good manners all the time so you can go and take it with you wherever you go and let it be a civilized member of society and part of the family and not make a nuisance of itself so that everybody that comes in contact with it is probably going to enjoy it, then I can help you with that too. And, and that's what we'll do. We'll just take it on after it, uh, after it gets to where it can come and, and stay and, and be, be mannerly and orderly, then we'll just take it out and we'll do fun stuff with it and we'll take it places and we'll get to go out in the world and see how it's supposed to act and, and we'll go from there. Um, but this, this marker training, this uh, positive reinforcement training is the foundation for all of that for me at this point. Um, it hasn't always been that way. You know, we're, we're constantly trying to learn more and study and, and improve our dog training. But that's where we're at right now. And that's, it's not by itself. It's coupled with a, a system of correction that, that gives us two-way communication with your dog. And what I mean when I say two-way communication is, is I need to be able to tell you, tell my dog that yes, I like I like what you're doing, and no, I don't like what you're doing. I'd rather you not do that again. And and it's the same with our kids. You know, we 
we can't just go around and correct our kids all the time and never tell them when they're doing a good job because then they're probably not going to have a very good relationship with us. They're not going to like us very much. So, you know, I want I want my dogs to like me and I want to like the dogs that I'm working with. And and um, so we use that two-way communication, the, the traditional um, correction methods that I learned grew up learned growing up and that I that I studied with some of the authors that I've read it over the years and and then we're combining that with the marker training so we can say yeah you know we like what you're doing appreciate that we want to see that again um, and that's that's what I'm doing right here I'm just I'm just paying this little guy for being still and having good manners and, and so he'll create a positive association with that behavior and he's probably going to give it to me again and so then we'll just keep saying, yeah, we appreciate that. Thank you. You know, we want to see that some more. So, so that's where we're at. Uh, hopefully you'll, you'll check in with us from time to time and check out our training videos and, and maybe learn something new. But, but, you know, ultimately, I just want to encourage you all to, to go, take your dogs and go out and, and do some stuff and be intentional about training and teaching them things and be intentional about educating yourself. Look, you know, get out there and find a good book, you know, find a, find a clinic video, find, find a clinic to go to, find somebody to talk to that knows more than you do, you know, so that you can improve, ultimately improve the relationship you have with your dog and improve the communication that you have with your dog. So, you know, appreciate your time and, and checking in with us here and if you do have a dog that you need help with, that you, you know, just want a consultation on, or, or you want some help training, or you want some lessons, then, you know, feel free to give us a call. And, uh, yeah, have fun with your dogs. Have a good day.